what's up youtube i know i know i know you guys have missed me i've been gone for like what three months i'm sorry you guys it's just it's a lot going on but hello you ladies and gentlemen kings and queens welcome back to another video if you're not subscribed make sure you go ahead and you hit that subscribe button and click that no no post notification bell so that you know every single time i post because i'm really gonna be more consistent you guys i really really am but like let me give you guys the tea on where i've been sorry if i keep looking over here i'm just trying to get everything in order what i've been doing and yeah let's get right into the video i don't know what type of video this is gonna be i don't i don't know it might be a vlog it might be just the chit chat part i don't know because it's about to start getting dark soon um so if you see the lighting changing that's why i'm sorry i wish i could have recorded earlier if you guys don't know the last video i put out i told you guys that i had got a job you know because my business was going real slow and things like that so that's why your girl has not posted for real um i've been just super tired just trying to get my life together um also with my whole apartment situation i haven't had consistent hot water in two months they just fixed the ceiling in my bathroom that i told you guys about if you don't know what i'm talking about i'm gonna link that video somewhere up here or down below in the description box so that you guys know what I'm talking about. So I've just been going through the motions and oh, let me tell you. So what I'm about to do now is do some press-ons cause your girl has been saving money. I haven't been getting my nails done. So I got these kids press-ons. It's what they look like. And I'm just gonna go through and take my little cuticle thing and just go through and get my cuticles and then uh, you know use this little tool and then put my press-ons on but um yeah so it's just been a whole lot with uh getting back into like the nine to five thing now obviously this nine to five thing is not anything that i'm doing forever i'm doing it for right now to save money things like that just get everything in my life in order um your girl's moving it's like i'm always moving on youtube at this point if you've been following me since i started my youtube i feel like this will this next video will be like the fourth place that you guys have seen me in um the next apartment i mean so i'm just really trying to get my life and i've just been having a hard time trying to adjust to going back to like a job and shit like i just feel like it's just so ghetto like i don't be really having no energy i've been wanting to do my makeup so bad when i tell you guys i have not done my makeup since i think it was december i don't be having no energy no time my work hours i work all freaking day so i'm at work from 9 a.m to 7 p.m every single day except for like Saturdays and Sunday. And that's kind of irritating. And I just, listen, the work thing ain't for me, but your girl is getting back into my business and everything. I also haven't been posting, posting on my Instagram, but I have my website back up. So go ahead, you can go ahead and shop livelooks.com. I'm going to be um, having a sale very, very soon. So it's gonna be a blowout sale. Everything must go, girl everything must go because i got new stuff coming in the works by the time summer hits officially by like june i want to say june i want it to be may but that might be a little bit too close but by the time june comes so so yeah you guys you girls been i've been doing a lot um and it's just like it's very hard right now because I'm still getting in the habit of working because I just started my job only in Ju June, in January. So what is it? January, February, March, April. I've only been in my job for three months. So like, I'm still like adjusting to like the time frame, the schedule. I be tired, like, and I feel so bad because I really love YouTube and I just feel like I've just been neglecting it and I've also been like the past year, as you guys know, me talking about my business and how my sales have sucked and 
how I gave up my suite last year. Um, so it's just like a lot of like creativity I've been lacking for the past year. And I feel like now I'm slowly getting back to it. But I also am trying to get to a point in life where I'm not overworking myself and I'm not making myself feel bad for not making content for the day if I'm tired. Because the older I get, the more I realize that your sleep is essential as well as your mental health. And if I'm not the best version of me, how can I be the best version for my business? How can I put out the best products, the best content on YouTube, Instagram, um, TikTok? How can I do that? And how can I be the best business owner if I'm not mentally getting enough sleep and just not in a good headspace? But I'm feeling so much better with like, everything ever since the new year came and it's officially the new year because now it's spring and i've just been i've been feeling more motivated it's just me trying to find the energy the time everything like that plus with me um moving into a new apartment in the in the next few weeks it's just your girl got a lot going on but i want to just definitely bring you guys more vlogs and everything like that because i know you guys miss me and i think the last time i posted a video i was at like 200 subscribers I'm almost at 400 subscribers, you guys. Like, I really miss you guys and I really fuck with you over here. I really fuck with you. Um, So that's what's been going on with me. I'm definitely getting back to my business, but I think what I was saying was I'm having a business sale soon in the next few weeks. I wanted to have it by now, but I've been just so tired and I haven't really... um made my content at all to post on my Instagram page. I still gotta do that. So I th think that's what I'm gonna do later today. And then tomorrow I'm gonna do uh, like content posting like with my face doing makeup. Cause I got like so much stuff in store and like the new products that I have that are gonna come out in the summertime. I am really, really excited. And if you guys are interested in any of that for my business, make sure that you go ahead, you follow us on Instagram. I'm gonna put it right here. And click the link below and subscribe to the emailing list. And then once you press the button, once you subscribe to the emails, you can put in your phone number to subscribe to SMS text messages. So you'll get text messages when we got new sales, everything like that. Whenever your birthday's coming up, you'll get a special coupon for your birthday. Um, and I'm just, I'm just really excited. Like, I really know that I needed this break for a reason. Okay, so I got these ones like this and you keep it like this and you keep the dust on there because it's going to help your nails stick. And I went to the beauty supply real quick today after work and I got this um, nail glue. It was only 50 cents. So I got two of them. And now I'm just going to measure the nails out. That's just what I do because listen, I've been lazy to get my nails done and I've also been in a space of olivia you need to get your shit together you need to be more financially responsible um getting my credit together getting my bills together now that i have consistent income with this job for the time being until my business is to where i want it to be where i don't have to rely on clocking in and clocking out i need to get my shit together i need to have six figures saved i need to have all my bills paid on time i don't need no shit past due i need the accounts that are in collections on my credit score are gone so i'm in the process of removing that no i'm not paying nobody to remove shit off my credit score i did that before the lady did a lot but she didn't do the most and she goes to me halfway through so i know exactly what i need to do to fix my credit it's just i've been procrastinating for years literally just sending out the paperwork and the actual paper to dispute accounts because if you want anything off your credit you have to hit up transnational experian what's the other one the other or transnational transunion experian and i forgot what the other one was but you have to contact them directly via through mail to get those collections off and i just have not done that and that's really just what my focus is like i need a 700 credit score minimum like i just want this is seven i just want to get everything in my life 
together, be more financially responsible, just, you know, doing things the right way. Cause I, this is my last year in my twenties, you guys. I'm in my, this is like my last few months in my twenties. And I'm just trying to get my life to, cause I'm not living my thirties how I lived my twenties. 20s is a hot fucking mess and that's okay because without everything that I've gone through I wouldn't you know be where I'm at right now you feel me so I'm thankful for everything that I've gone through because it got me to where I am today and I'm just trying to be a way better version of myself a way more responsible version of myself I just want to be the best me, you know, in 2023. The best me. I really do, though. I really, really do. Like, all jokes aside. Um, Now what I'm doing, I'm going to put my... I just put the glue, like, on my nail. And I don't let it hit my cuticle. And I just, like, rub it around my entire nail. And then I'm going to take this. This is the thumb. And then I'm just gonna press it on there like this. And I think these are so cute. I've never done cow print nails. I put this bitch on crooked. <laughs> look at this. Oh, you can't even tell. It really don't look that bad. But I could tell it's crooked. This is how it look. You wouldn't even know that these was press-ons, girl. And you guys, let me know down in the comments below what the new products you think that I, I've got coming are gonna be. What am I trying to say? You guys, let me know in the comments down below what the products you think that I'm going to be having for Live Looks will be, the new ones. Um, and whoever gets it right, I'll send you out a free item. Um, my life lately, I've just been working, looking for apartments. It's just so hard out here. The apartment market is the ghetto. Like, I don't know what this whole three times, 3.5 times the rent after taxes or before your taxes, before taxes, they want. It's not even after taxes. It's before, before taxes, three times the rent. So if you get $400 taken out of your check, they want you to say like, Let's say your check be like two thousand. You get five hundred dollars taken out your check, fifteen hundred. The apartment that you want is fourteen. They want you to make that three times the rent with that fifteen hundred dollar check. Fifteen times three or whatever. Let's say your rent is like twenty five hundred. Your check is only fifteen because they took five out of the check. They only count in that fifteen hundred. They're not even counting the fucking taxes. Like, what type of shit? What type of shit are they on? What are they really on? Like, the whole... Like, everything is just stupid. It's just dumb. I really don't understand. So, yeah, your girl's been looking for a... An apartment. This is how this hand looks, you guys. I feel like it looked better on camera, but it looks shitty in person. But it will just do justice for the pictures that I need to take. And plus for the fact that I don't feel like getting my nails done right now. So this is the vibe. It's... These look cute. It's giving baddie on a budget. I don't know what's going on with this nail. But aren't these so cute with the little, what is this? Not cow prints on here, like, you see it? Okay. So yeah, you guys, I'm just, honestly, we're getting back into like working since I haven't had a job really for real in like two years or something like that. Um, I realized that the work field just isn't for me because I don't give a fuck to go hard for a job that like is paying me bullshit. Like, I feel like no matter what job you work at or where you work, even if you make quote unquote good money, it's still like 
you just putting all that time and effort into somebody else's dream when I need to be putting this time and effort into my dream. And it's just like, Olivia, why are you not making content? I keep telling myself, like, why am I not making content? Like, it. so what if I'm tired when I get back from work? Like, I need to force myself to get up, to do my makeup. I haven't been doing my makeup, you guys. Like, I haven't been doing anything. Like, I want to get back to the beauty side of me, like, doing my makeup. Like, I'm going to start getting my nails done again. I'm just trying to get closer to my savings goal before I'm out here just, you know, spending money. I just feel like I'm not at a time in my life where I just really care to, you know, have my nails done and my hair done and like just the beauty maintenance cuz I'm really I'm really just really trying to get everything in order. Cuz I got a lot going on and I have like a lot of things that I want to accomplish and it's okay to not get your nails done, your feet done and whatever done if you're making that sacrifice for those few cup those few couple of months until you know you're back to get into the bag getting the money from your business putting the effort into your business because i know once i drop these products and once i drop the sale and once i start doing my um paying for ads and doing everything that i was doing before being more consistent um really figuring out a game plan that's also why i haven't posted like really figuring out like okay so when i post like what is like my campaign what's my promotion like what's my target product that i want to put on sale you know what i mean and i think i'm going to target the lip glosses because people really do like the lip glosses so that's probably what i'm going to gear my business more towards is my lip glosses people really like those and it's just i'm just trying to do everything i just put my camera in a different mode girl and why is it giving i didn't even know that this was on here i got the new iphone by the way i probably didn't tell you guys or i might have i have the iphone 14 the pro max and i just put it on the cinematic what girl it's giving okay so we just gonna be in this mode for the rest of the video um put my nail on crooked do you see that that's not how my finger goes, but I mean that. Oh, and your girl has stopped doing um Instacart because fuck that shit. Um, so I don't know. I just feel like I got a sign from spirit in the universe, like and from ancestors and all that. You guys know that I'm spiritual, and if you're not into that, then um, oh well. That's what I like to talk about over here. I'm spiritual, and I believe in God. Yeah, I know that there is a God. Um, I just feel like I've been getting told, like, girl, you don't need to be doing this no more. And I've really been moving on faith lately, and it has not steered me wrong. Like, everything that I've thought in my mind, like, is going to happen. And I'm talking about, like, positive things has happened. I know that everything is going to be okay. I'm not going to stress about looking for an apartment because I already know I got my apartment. I, I'm manifesting it. It's here. It's it's happening, and we moving, baby. Because I need a bigger space. I need a bigger house. I just have a lot of things in store. We want my business to be successful. This is going to be my last full year in Chicago, and I keep telling people, and it's annoying, like when you have plans and dreams, and you get excited, so you tell your friends and family and people closest to you, like what you're trying to do what you're trying to accomplish and it's kind of like people just try to like shit on your like dreams and your career or whatever you got going on in their life um and i don't think people perp do it on purpose but it's like when i tell people i'm moving to cali i'm not saying it just to be like oh yeah i'm moving to cali just to be cute like nah nigga like i'm really moving to cali like i don't give a fuck what nobody said oh how could you move you need to have money to live out there you need to have this at the end of the day baby i already got the money at the end of the day like i don't live in a poverty mindset i don't live in a low vibrational ass mindset like a lot of people live in like no the fuck do you mean like I don't speak all that negativity and I'm broke and I'm this and I'm that and oh, I can't do this. How am I going to do that? How am I going to be able to 
pay this this month. Nah, I don't live like that. Like, at the end of the day, I've been through so much shit in my life. I know that God got me. I know that God got me. So, like, what am I, what is there to, to, to fear? I'm literally been living my life off of faith. Yes, I did have to go get a job. I didn't want to, but at the end of the day, I'm blessed to have my job. It's very easy. I'm making bread consistently. I can fund my business. I can get my finances in order and everything like that. Like, your girl's getting money. Like, and now I can finally focus back on my business. I'm no longer in like that depressed, weird state that I was in, hustling, doing Instacart. Like, you guys don't understand how stressful that really was. And especially with using your car and stuff every day, the wear and tear, the mileage. I have a new car, like a newer, that's not the newest year, but it's not too old. It's only a few years old. My car is new and it's just like, driving around and doing like that whole hustle mentality and stuff yes that's cool as like a side thing but like those little side things like instacart uber Eats, all that stuff it don't hit the same now like we're in a recession i get it people's funds ain't the same things ain't the same so it's like the money isn't coming as easy because people have more priorities um what are they gonna buy this week they're gonna buy their groceries online or are they just gonna go to the store and get it and then pay for their rent like it's like you got to choose between your rent and your groceries these days so <laughs> it's like why am i gonna keep wasting my time doing this shit i'm not about to be out for 12 hours a fucking day for 400 dollars. like the fuck i can easily make 400 dollars a day with my business and watch i'm gonna do that shit like we're like what this is my last year my last full year not even full year. This is the last few months of me living this regular ass life. Because where I'm going, like, a lot of people can't go with me, unfortunately. Sorry, it was nice to know you. But I'm getting my bends. I'm getting my nice crib. Yeah, like I was saying, like, I, everything that I want in my mind is literally coming to fruition. And, like, the time is now. The time is fucking now. I'm getting motivated as I'm making this video for you guys. And hopefully it's up today. If it's not up today, it'll be up when it when it'll be up but i plan on recording multiple videos so that i have them back to back for you guys so that i just don't go ghost again um but yeah everything that i want like like the time is now like i'm being told like the time is now like girl stop sleeping on yourself like get up and make that content get up and do what you have to do for your business Yes, you needed to rest. You needed to take a break from your business. You needed to get your mental health together. You needed to get your finances in order because it's hard being a struggling entrepreneur when you're out here like hustling every day, just trying to make ends meet for your life and then also for your business. And when you literally give up everything in your life, I've given up my apartment, my car. I've traveled across the country before I came to Chicago, left everything behind for my business because that's how passionate I am about it. And then to have people in your life, friends or family or whoever, to be like, oh, you trying to do this or, oh, you trying to move here? It's expensive to live here. It's expensive to live there. And it's no shade to anybody that, that be feeling that type of way about my life, but it's giving projection. Like, I don't care. Like, I'm not scared to take risks. I'm not scared to up and move because Chicago is not my last destination. First of all, I fucking hate it here. This is this is like a terrible place. Like I hate it here so much. But I'm here, so I'm going to make the best of it until I am fully prepared and ready to move. And then I'm going to up and move. I'm just at a point in my life where it's like I can't just up and move and do shit how I would normally do it because clearly that wasn't working out. But everything that didn't work out brought me to this point to be like, dang, Olivia, get your shit together. You took a break. You rested. You know, you was chilling. You ain't been consistent all last year with your business. You ain't make no money but one sale last year. One sale last year is all that I made, like, online. Aside from, like, people that I know in person and from, like, my lash clients. But as far as, like, my website, which is my baby, my heart. Fuck the services. My website is everything to me because I love makeup products. I love products. I love making women feel beautiful. 
That's why I have a makeup business. I love the beauty industry. And I didn't make a fucking dime last year compared to the year before. Bitch was making thousands of dollars. And then it's like all that shit switched. And it's like, damn, like I'm being consistent. Am I not being consistent enough? Like what am I doing wrong? So that's when the depression kicked in. I guess you could call it depression. I don't, I don't want to self-diagnose to anybody who really has, but I feel like I've gone through depression throughout my life and I just have to bring myself up out of it. So I'll just call it that, the depression, the sadness, the just not feeling good enough about myself and comparing myself on the internet. You know, you see these girls, let's say like you do hair, the next girl in your city do hair, but she's known and she's liked by a lot of people because she got a lot of clout in the city. You know, it's always that one girl in the city that's just known and like people just fuck with her or maybe they don't. And you know that you way better of an artist than this girl. You know in your heart, you a way better artist than this girl. But people don't really fuck with you. People don't really know you like that. Like people just hating on you. And she blew up overnight. But you've been doing this shit for five plus years and your shit still ain't pop. That's how I feel about my business. It's so many people that I know that have started shit and their shit starts to flourish or people that I've just followed on YouTube and Instagram for fucking years and their shit just flourishes. But it's like, slow and steady wins the race. Always. Slow and steady always wins the race. Anything that's worth having is never going to come fucking easy and it's never going to come fast. If it comes fast, you're not going to value it. If it comes easy, you're not going to value it. You're not going to appreciate it. Because you ain't have to work 10 times as hard as Sally Sally Mae down the street. Who, when her shit actually blows up on the six year or five and a half year, she really going to appreciate all that. Because she knows she put her blood, sweat, and tears into her dreams, into her goals. When everybody shitted on her. When everybody said that she couldn't do it. When everybody said, oh, you you trying to move here. You trying to do this. It's expensive. How could you do that? You don't have no money like that for real right now. You're not living your life like that for real right now. Well, at the end of the day, I have the vision. God gave the vision to me. Spirit gave the vision to me. They didn't give you the fucking... They didn't give you the vision. They gave me the vision. That's why it's my vision. The fuck is you talking about? So, this 9 to 5 shit is cute. It's cute for now. But this ain't where I'm going to end up. It took a lot to my ego to even go back to a job. It took a lot. Because I'm like, how can I go back to a job when I literally just told my girls and my guys, if guys do watch me on YouTube... That I quit my job to be a full-time entrepreneur while doing the Instacart thing on the side. How could I? How can I just double back and go back on my word of what I told them? Like how I'm never going back to a job and how I'm never doing this and I'm never doing that. And then it's like people be like, oh, you should get work from home job and do this and do that. I don't plan on being at this fucking job for <laughs> not that much longer. I really don't like I really don't I'm getting shit in order I'm getting savings in order I'm getting all that shit in order because I believe in my dreams and I believe in my goals and I believe in my business and I don't give a fuck what nobody says like my business yes it's a side thing right now but in my mind it's not a side thing my business is everything it's the main thing it's the mainstream of income I'm not one of these bitches out here that is just content with working a fucking nine to five and putting all my dreams and my hopes on the fucking back burner. Like, no. My dreams and my ambitions on the back burner for no bitch, no man, no family member, no nothing. I don't care if people don't see the vision, don't see the dream. I see it. That's why I got it. And I'm not going to stop until i get to my goals and once i get to my goals i'm gonna make higher goals to reach those goals because i got shit to go on i have a family to fucking feed i got people that in my mind are counting on me like this ain't just for me this is for future generations this is for when i have my own family i need shit to be set i'm not trying to have the future generations of my life go through half the shit that i went through 
I am breaking the generational curses. No, I refuse to fucking live on public assistance. I refuse to do any of that stuff. It's nothing wrong with it, but I don't want that. I don't want that for my life. And then people get a certain age and then they just settle for shit. And then they just live in their misery. And they expect everybody else to live in their misery too. And then they just complain about what they should have, could have, would have did. And they didn't do nothing. They ain't put no action behind nothing. All they did was live on a hope and a fucking dream. That shit ain't going to get you out the hood. That ain't going to get you no money. You got to put some action behind your shit, bitch. Like, I don't know how people expect all day to sit on their ass and for a million dollars just to drop out the fucking sky for them. And another thing that I'm learning is you want a million dollars. Everybody posts how they want a million dollars and they want to live this and live that and they want the Rolls Royce and they want the Birkins and they want the Bentleys and they want all this shit. But if you can't manage a thousand dollar paycheck every fucking week, how the fuck you think God in the universe is going to hand you a million? If you fumble whenever you get a fucking thousand dollar paycheck. If you can't manage that, if you can't manage your $4,000 income that you have right now, how the fuck you think God is going to bless you with more? You're not even financially stable. You're not, you're not like living right. And I don't understand that. I don't understand that from people because I've been that person. I've been that girl for majority of my life. Like I get money, I just blow it. I don't give a fuck. Like that shit's going to come back. But at the end of the day, then you got to ask yourself, why am I not making more money? Why am I constantly just making this, this small type of money in my life? Why am I not making nothing else? <laughs> You're not making nothing else because you don't know how to fucking manage the shit that you got. Why are you going out, going on trips, doing this, that, and the third, getting drinks every weekend, getting drunk at the club, but you're behind on every single one of your bills? You're not paying your bills, but you're going out having fun, living life? Where's your money going, sis? Bro, where's your, where's your money going? It's okay to sit some shit out. It's okay to not get your nails done. You could go ahead and buy a little $3.50 press-on set, like I did. These were $3.50. Family dollar. The glue, 50 cents. That's your beauty supply. You don't got to always go out and do the most. I haven't had my feet done, you guys, in so fucking long. If you guys watch me, then you know I like to get shit done. I'm a girl. I like nice things. I like, I like a certain type of life. I don't want to go out not having my feet done, not having my nails done. Like, what? That's not me. But at the end of the day, it's okay. It's okay to make certain sacrifices. Like, you don't need the, the latest outfits. You don't need the latest nail set. You don't need, like, the latest bags and the shoes. And I have a shopping problem, too, but I don't need this shit right now. Everything I got is perfectly fine. Like, these five months that I'm sitting out, this year that I'm sitting out to stack my bread... Is going to put me ahead for the next five years. Because five years ago, I didn't realize that I was going to be in this spot. I thought five years ago, this was going to be a fucking millionaire. Thought my life was going to be so... Not saying that my life is bad, but like... Matter of fact, no. Five years ago, I didn't know where the fuck I was going to be. Because five years ago, your girl was homeless. I also talked about this, if you guys are new here, in my video before. In one of my vlogs, and I'll link it too. So I'm actually way farther than what I want to be, but I still, I just want more. Like I'm hungry for it. I'm hungry for the financial freedom, for the credit score that I want. That I want that $800 credit score. I want that American Express black card. You know, I want that good credit. I want the, the credit that the white people get is that's so good that you don't got to use your real money. You got your money sitting in the bank. Your credit is paying for everything. You ain't lifting a finger out your pocket for your real money. You using your credit. That's just the type of time that I'm on, you guys. I don't know if it's because I'm, I'm just getting in my 30s and it's just like, bro, I, I don't want to be living this. I've never wanted to live an average life, but I don't, I don't want to do that shit. I don't want to live the life that I've lived in my 20s, in my 30s. Absolutely not. I want the house. I want the Benz. I want to be taking trips whenever I fucking feel like it. 
I want my money to make me money in my sleep, which it do. So I'm already monetized on Instagram. When I make posts on Instagram, I get paid money for that. Whether it's a little amount of money or a big amount of money. You can't expect to make big amounts of money once you get monetized on some shit. Just off rip. I mean, some people might. But I still make money off of my social media platforms. And I'm blessed and highly favored. I still make money off of my business. I'm soon going to make money off my YouTube because we almost at 1K. I'm going to be at my um 4,000 watch hours very soon. People fuck with me. It's the reason why you guys watch me. It's the reason why I got almost 400 subscribers. I gained almost 200 subscribers and I haven't posted in three months. And I keep being told, you need to make the content. You need to do this. You need to do that. So here I am making the content. Your girl's going to be more consistent. I can't guarantee on weekly dates and times and things like that. But just know, like, the videos is coming soon. Your girl is just, I'm still just trying my best to adjust to the job, finding an apartment, like moving. Moving is a lot. You know, my business, just figuring out what do I need to do for my business. But I'm going to be back on my entrepreneur vlogs, taking you guys behind the scenes. Because I got um, some stuff that I want to buy. I want to get an Amazon store so that you guys can like literally click all the links that I show you. And it's not making an Amazon store for money. It's just literally to, if you guys are interested in what I show you on here that I get off of Amazon, boom, there's the link. Go ahead and get it yourself. Like... I'm just really in my year of, like, I'm really getting this fucking money, getting this bag. Like, the fuck? You think that I really want to be at this fucking 9 to 5 job, you guys? Do you really think that? It's an easy job. I love I love my job that is so easy. I love my coworkers so, so much. Like, I've met an gr amazing group of women who I could really consider friends. And I'm very thankful that God put these people in in my path of my life. But I don't want to fucking be there, bro. I don't want to slave over nobody's fucking job or store from 9 to 7 every day. Having no time for myself. Like, I'm sorry. Like, no. But this is cool for now. Because I'm just getting my shit together. I'm getting back on my shit. And you can get back on your shit, too. And I'm going to see you guys in another freaking video, okay? And if it's not another video, then it's going to be an add-on to this. But if I don't see you later on, I'm going to see you in the next video. And I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for subscribing. And make sure that you guys go ahead and you shop livelooks.com and you subscribe to the mailing list because I got my sale coming soon. And every, every order is going to get a free highlighter setting spray. Let me grab this one right here. Every order is going to get a free highlighter scent spray. This is mine. This was my sample one that I got before I ordered the rest. This one is number five. Yeah, this is number five. Everybody is going to get a free one of these when they place an order when I start my sale. Either it's going to be a sale of 30% off or 40% off. I'm not sure yet, but you're going to receive a free highlighter setting spray. So make sure that you go ahead and you click that link down below. You subscribe to the mailing list and subscribe to receive text messages because you know our emails get clogged up. We get so many emails a day from spam mail, all types of stuff. So subscribe to the, to the text messages too. And I'm going to see you guys in my next video. And I love you guys so much. Thank you. Shout out to all the new subscribers that I have subscribed. Let me know down below how did you find me? Like, What type of videos do you want to see? I know I've been like all over the place, you guys, and I'm out of breath. See you guys in my next video. And thank you guys for for always supporting me to all my... I'm, I'm going to start calling some of the people that's been here with me that constantly comment on my videos. Tell me how much they miss me. Were they waiting for another video? You guys is my OGs. Shout out to my OGs. And if you're new here, thank you so much for subscribing and supporting me. Make sure that you tell your friends, family, sister, baby mother, cousin, whoever baby father, whoever, to subscribe to me. And I'll see you guys in my next video. And I love you guys so, so much. Mwah.